Welcome back to another edition of your latest trending news in track and field. Today I'll be speaking about Dominica silver medalist at the Commonwealth Games 2022. I will also leave a video at the end showing her remarks. And don't forget to hit that subscription button if you haven't done so as yet. Also drop a like and leave a comment in the comment section below. A national record holder in the women's triple jump event, Tia Lafont, secured Dominica's first medal at the 2022 Birmingham Commonwealth Games. Lafont started off with a jump of 14.39 meters in her first attempt to put her in second place at the end of the round one. Meantime, Jam Jamaica's Shinika Ricketts smashed the record with her first jump of 14.94 meters. In Lafon's remaining jumps, she was unable to surpass the championship record set by Shinika Ricketts in the opening round. However, she was able to secure the silver medal position from her first jump of 14.25 meters in the opening round of the finals. In the end, the gold medal was won by the defending Commonwealth Games champion Shinika Ricketts of Jamaica. Lafon placed second and Metzger placed third. In an interview with sports journalist Gavin Richard, Tia gave her remarks on her journey to capturing the silver medal. She also upgraded from her previous Commonwealth Games where she took bronze medal. Please leave your comments below and hit that subscription button if you haven't done so as yet. Also, click on the notification bell to get notified of when I post the next video. I'll see you next time. Okay, we've got with us uh, the silver medalist at the Commonwealth Games uh, Triple Jump event, women's triple jump, Thea Lafour. Thea, first of all, congratulations on that silver medal. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> all right, so Thea, talk me through the event. Of course, a proud moment for you stepping up from the bronze medal that you got mm -hmm. uh, uh, in Australia. So just talk me through how the night went. You know, um, the first jump was pretty was pretty solid. Um, I was really looking eager on actually building on it. I thought it was a really good starter jump. Um, but one thing that uh, caught, I think, all of us by a little bit more of a surprise was the weather. Um, everyone <laughs> left with numb toes. Um, it was really difficult to kind of maintain our heat um, out there, even with the puffer jackets and, and extra layers. Um, but I do think that, you know, towards the end I got a better groove in. Um, I think my hop step is getting larger and larger and I need to get more active off of it. Um, but to be able to walk away with a silver medal, to boost that bronze to a silver, to represent Dominica, to take that lap with that flag raised high, that's priceless. Yes, Thea, you mentioned the weather. I'm struggling to hold on to the camera. That's how cold it is. <laughs> yeah, my I'm sorry, are numb as well. sorry. <laughs> but, but Thea, you know, just going back to the competition, 1494 yeah. mm -hmm. was what uh, Shanika Ricketts set mm -hmm. in that first jump. You, yeah. know, you know, how did that impact the rest of the competition? Um, you know, it didn't really phase me. I actually felt that, you know, I had that in the tank. And I think that I should have... Um, tweak that first jump to be to be better to be more competitive in that in that area um, it's just really hard to continuously be competitive when your body's you know getting colder and colder um, like as we speak <laughs> um, um, but you know I, it's, it doesn't really phase me I, I do think I have those big jumps in me and they are coming um, and the trick is to get them out earlier especially when the weather is not in your favor <laughs> you mentioned the big jumps you need to get them yeah. you know your, your main competitors mm -hmm. you know uh, do you Jumper from Venezuela, mm -hmm. jumps over 15 consistently, mm -hmm. uh, rickets as well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, your, your best jump has been 1460. So mm -hmm. what are some of the things that you probably think that you need to do you know, to um, get up to that mark? I think one of it is really just channeling that energy um, earlier in, in meets and getting that really big hop step. That's my bread and butter. Uh, my first two phases are massive and just really just capitalizing on that. Um, because, you know, I've seen the fouls that are over 15. I've seen, you know, the film. I, we know the numbers. We know I'm in shape. Um, and I think it's really just about executing. And I, I have a few more meets left in the season. I look forward to doing that. Thea, finally, because it's very cold. I don't want to keep you out too long. <laughs> is it cold? Really? <laughs> but, you know, how much does this silver medal really mean to you? And, and to, of course, uh, to your family. Your dad was in attendance yes. for this meet as well. Yes. Um, you know, I think it's really special because not only do I get to represent Dominica, but this time I actually had, um, you know, my father in the crowd who flew over from the States to see me. Um, and I think it's massive because, you know, so much of what I do is because of support, um, not only from the Olympic Committee, um, but also from my family. 
and to be able to, for him to be able to have him there um, and see you know see his country's flag being raised to see the hard work that he's helped support since I started you know athletics when I was what 13 um, it, it's so special and any opportunity I get to represent Dominica is never never taken lightly and I'm always proud thank you for allowing me the honor to do so all right thank you very much Thea Lafon once again congratulations thank you